This is the Ramset Auto Fast. It is a 25 caliber tool made in France and it has a full 3 inch capacity meaning it can shoot a 3 inch pin provided it has a washer. Uh, the tool came out in the uh, mid 1990s to compete against the uh, Hilti A41 and both those tools the Auto Fast and the A41 are considered fully automatic tools. Uh, when I say fully automatic tool, I don't mean like in a firearm. A semi-automatic tool, such as this one, is a tool that carries the powder load in some type of device, either uh, a disc like this, which holds tip. More commonly, it is a plastic um, strip that also holds tin powder loads. And... Um, the tool cycles the powder loads automatically when you pull the barrel out. When you pull the barrel out, you reset the piston and uh, cycle the powder load. In the case of a fully automatic tool, the uh, piston is also automatically reset along with the powder load advancing. The Hilti A41 used expanding gases to reset the piston was a somewhat complicated tool and you couldn't use a powder load below a level 4. A level 2 or a level 3 powder load just didn't have enough gas to reset the piston. In the case of the Autofast, much simpler. They just use a spring in the barrel that pulls the barrel out. So you don't have to do that. Let's take the barrel apart and take a look at it. First thing to remember is that the barrel is under spring pressure and if I'm not careful it's going to go flying over there. It has already once. So let's get these stops released. collar and there's the spring that resets the barrel. Barrel, piston, buffer. The nose piece assembly, this collar is removable so that if you need to replace parts you can. There are bearings down in the nose piece. That holds the piston in place, keeps it from falling out the front of the tool. The Autofast is basically the same as the D45, except for the D45 only had a uh, about an inch and a half pin capacity. Uh, it's these stops, I believe, they're the same. This buffer is the same. The piston, same design, it's just shorter, and there's differences between the barrel and the nose piece, obviously. There was also a spring-loaded version of the D45, which uh, apparently was available until rather recently. I think it was discontinued uh, a few years ago. I'm not quite sure when. The D45 could have been purchased with or without that spring. The Autofast did not sell well. It was off the market in a few short years. All kinds of theories as to why. I guess only Ramset really knows. I think a lot of it has to do with how difficult the tool was to uh, take apart and put back together. Also that extra spring pressure and cocking the tool may have uh, caused early fatigue. Uh, spring though is a good idea. I mean it works. On shorter tools it's fairly common on the D45, the Hilti DX41, a few other tools out there. So why didn't it work in the long tool? Well it must be the fatigue. So it makes me wonder why somebody has not tried yet, at least not that I know of, instead of putting the spring on the outside, contain it inside the tool, put your stops on a collar so that they move with the spring and the piston instead of using the spring to push the barrel out. It's a little more complicated than this, but I think it would work. Alright, let's put this together. And this can be difficult. The best way is to take the nose piece off and do it that way so you don't have to fight all that extra spring pressure. 
Let's get the stop in there. There's one of them. I just turned it so that it holds it together while I got myself ready to put the second one in. Okay. One came out over here. And dang it. Well, I could do it that way, but let's try it the other way. Put the barrel in. Okay, both stops are in and, and oops. They're in all the way with the retaining collar on. Add the spring. Got to get the piston past those collars first. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> 